the opportunity to be the first ever CEO of a Formula One Grand Prix at a very young age, I was only 34 at the time, it was fantastic. In Formula One today, not many people would know this, but you know, many of the key executives are women. But because they're not up and down the pit lane with the headsets on, people don't necessarily think that and they think it's all a man's world. And when I look back on people that I admired, either ones that I was working with or outsiders that I met, was being uh, inspired by the way they were with people, how they talked with people, dealt with people, because it says a lot about character and that's far more important really. True to your character and then people will be inspired or, or follow you if, if you give back to them what they're hoping to achieve. Every woman in the world, no matter age, culture, demographic, uh, working at home, working out of home, works hard. I think it's a myth to say women don't get engaged in finance because they're controlling the purse, they're controlling many of the family decisions, they're controlling many of the home decisions, whether they work or they don't work. When we focus on women, we have to focus on the fact that, you know, we're equal decision makers, we're very hard working, we're passionate about what we want. We do have our own needs, but we don't want to be patronised and we don't want to be talked down to. Uh, and we do want to have a shared voice in the room but we contribute equally as well. As long as you are competent in what you do and you're hard working and you're persistent and you've got great teams, then you can't go wrong. But there's no substitute for hard work, no shortcuts on that. Whether you're a man, whether you're a woman, at the end of the day, you know, you've got to actually do the hard yards, invest the time, uh, and that sometimes comes at a personal cost. You have to make choices. Once you make the choice, keep going forward.